Hey, what's going on everybody? Jonathan Thames of Rosie and Ernie Productions back here today for another reaction video and uh, it has been a long time since we have listened to something by my very favorite band of all time, Tool, and I have picked another song of theirs to uh, just kind of jam out to today and discuss uh, what it is about this song that's so uh, awesome, for lack of a better way to put it. So the song that I've chosen to react to today is their cover of the Led Zeppelin song, No Quarter, which first appeared on the album Salival. Uh, I have heard this song quite a few times in my lifetime, however, it has been a while since I've dove in and listened to it. So we're going to dive in and check it out. Thank you. 
You know, there are not many bands out there that can take such an awesomely classic tune like Led Zeppelin's No Quarter, which is phenomenal, the original version of the song. If you haven't heard it, you should check this out. But it's not often that a band can take a song like that, put their own spin on it like this, and interpret it in an entirely different way and have it be so majorly, impactfully awesome. As I've said, I've heard this song several times throughout the span of my life. I even, luckily, uh, got the opportunity to see them open with this song one at one point in time. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to see Tool five different times. I'm hoping that I get the opportunity to see them again. The in particular time, this was in, I think, 2016... Or was it? It was either 2015 or 2016, and they oh, they had Primus opening for them, and they opened with this song, and it was fantastic. But that's the magic of Tool, is that it doesn't matter how many times you've heard a piece of music, especially when you're listening with headphones. Uh, there's always something new that you catch, or something that catches your attention in a way that it didn't catch your attention before. Um, there's so many awesome elements to this song. I love the bass tone. I love how, and Justin Chancellor is known for using flange and delay, but the way that it all comes together, the tone of it all, especially, I mean, his involvement especially really, in my opinion, helps to brighten up uh and fill up the space where there is a lot of open space. It's his subtle touches that really help to create that little bit of mystic uh, sensibility. And, uh, of course, Adam Jones, as always, I just, I love his interpretation of of the melody. I do. I, I love the way that he carries it from start to finish. I love how in the opening, I, I mean... That's notationally, it's arranged very similarly to the original version of the song, but I love how he adds his own flair to it, especially how he throws in the octave, the octave taps. And uh, I think that just adds a lot to it, especially when, once again, you've got Justin Chancellor coloring that with such an elusive bass tone. And, um, you know, the... Maynard's vocals, uh, I like how they start off, and, you know, of course, he's, it's like he's singing through a megaphone, which, if you see them live, that's exactly what he's, he's singing through a megaphone, and I just, I love how they gain more presence as the song gains more intensity as it, as it develops and unveils itself to its full potential, and, of course, Danny Carey, as always, uh, I just get lost listening to Danny Carey and how he lays out his drum parts, how fantastically awesome he is at throwing those fills in there and just laying out the structure in such an unconventional way. And it's no matter what he's playing, it's got such power behind it. And whether or not it's, it's subtle and very quiet or whether or not it's a really loud and in your face, like here we are, he's just, he's going all in and it doesn't matter. There's always just such a power in the degree of tightness with which he plays and with the range of dynamics that he utilizes as a drummer. Uh, it's fantastic. It's always a pleasure and a joy to listen to Tool, so I'm sorry if uh, I rambled on a little bit too long in this reaction, but I greatly admire their music every time I have the chance to really sit down and dive into it. That's why they're my favorite artist of all time, because despite how many times I've heard uh, every piece of their work, there's just there's always room for further amazement with each listen. So, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching this reaction. Give it a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next video.